going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is I'm going to discuss Samsung's adaptive fast charging technology. Now, if you guys are not aware of what that is, Samsung's Galaxy products uh, these days, or at least, at least the modern ones, I can't remember when they started doing this. I believe since the Galaxy S5. But adaptive fast charging is basically where like Samsung created their own specific wall outlet with a USB port on it. That way you connect your USB cable that came factory with your phone, you plug it in, and then it basically just charges your phone faster. That's it. Why is that? Because obviously the batteries are bigger and they, they last for a, a long period of time. Therefore, they created a special oh, a wall outlet so that way your phone will charge a lot faster. That way you can get it off the charge in case if you need it very quick. Yeah, I mean, if you were to use like any ordinary USB adapter, I'm assuming, it's not going to have or contain that adaptive fast charging. Therefore, uh, as your phone charges, it's not going to charge as quickly hey, as it should be with a bigger battery. Like my Galaxy Note 4 right here has the adaptive fast charging technology. And of course, uh, this is also integrated into the newer phones that were just announced, the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. Now. There was an article that I read uh, recently, which link will be in the description below, where somebody just recently got a Galaxy <coughs> S7 Edge, excuse me, and they had an old Galaxy S4 as well. So they used the charger that came factory with their Galaxy S7 Edge and used it for the Galaxy S4. I'm assuming it might be because, okay, since the cable is there and it's the same plug, you know, might as well just plug it in. However, this charger actually melted the Galaxy S4, therefore burning the person's hand, leaving them with a blister, and my phone just fell. <laughs> Good thing I got carpet right here. Now, why is that? Because apparently the adaptive fast technology was a little bit too powerful for the older devices. Therefore, uh, the person that uh, was discussing this you know, this was stated in the article. If you have uh, a charger that uh, that contains adaptive fast charging, do not use it with any other product uh, other than the one that it was made for. So pretty much the only way you can tell is if you take a look on Samsung's uh, wall outlet, if it has the lightning bolt uh, icon on it, that means it has adaptive fast charging. And apparently those can't be used with the Galaxy S4 or any older uh, Galaxy S products or Galaxy products. Now, in my theory, I'm thinking, okay, well, how could that be? Because if the new technology does not support the old one, I figure it would just run it at a, a certain wattage. That way it, it doesn't you know, take advantage of the new technology and then try to use it on the old one. Kind of like, for example, backwards compatibility is what I'm talking about here. USB 3.0 devices. If you plug it into a USB 2.0 port, it's just going to run at USB 2.0 speeds. That's it. It's not going to burn it off or anything. In fact, that's what I was thinking in the first place. I mean, if you think about it, think about the situation where you travel to a different country and you take your phone with you. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. In the U.S., we use uh, 110 or 120s. Now, if you go to a foreign country, you plug it into a wall outlet, more than likely it's a 240, therefore you need a converter, otherwise you're going to burn your device. Although some hotels will have specific uh, 110 volt plugs, but not many of them have that. So for the ones with 240 wall outlets, then you definitely need a converter. So that way you don't burn your device. And you know, I figured Samsung's adaptive fast charging would be the same way, so that way it's not going to hurt anybody out there and melt any devices. And I was so surprised to see this, especially with a new cable or a new a wall outlet, I'm assuming they use both, to charge the old Galaxy S4. That gets me wondering, okay, what is Samsung going to do from now on in the future when they make new product releases or better yet are they going to do something that Apple has done in the past where because I remember when the iPhone 3G came out there were reports that 
uh, the chargers that came with the iPhone 3G uh, uh, was actually c c catching fire or something. Therefore, Apple sent a replacement to everyone who signed up for the program and then got a free replacement right there. And then the old one, they could just trash it. Not sure if, Ant if Samsung is going to do something similar to that or maybe they'll just let it go and be like, okay, when we have our next new releases of phones, we're definitely going to implement our adaptive fast charging technology, but we're going to make it backwards compatible, make sure it's backwards compatible with the old devices. I have no idea what they're doing, but other than that, I was so surprised to see this, and I'm curious as to see what Samsung is going to do from now on. And what do you guys think if was the cost for this? I mean, definitely leave a comment down below. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. I'm interested to see what they're going to do from now on. So that's it. Thanks for, so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check out the description below for my social media links right there. Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.